a new religion to bring you to your knees. Black velvet, if you please. Jesus fucking Christ, how do people drink that shit? Yeah. So, Peter Capaldi is leaving Doctor Who at the end of the next season. I can't honestly say that I'm surprised, but I am rather sad to see him go. I'll be perfectly honest with you here. He's really awesome. Nonetheless, the time has come, once again, to speculate what actor we may have to look forward to taking over the role of the eponymous Time Lord. Eponymous. Sounds so grown up. <laughs> Here's your damn rant show, folks. <music> Greetings and welcome to Film Rant TV Edition. I'm your host, E. Adam Thomas, and today we'll be speculating on the casting of the new Doctor Who after Peter Capaldi completes his final season later this year. Now, first off, let me just say that I'm not really happy that he's leaving. He's one of my favorite doctors of all time, and I've heard some rumors that he isn't exactly leaving of his own accord, if you know what I mean. If they're firing, or asking to leave, one of the best doctors in the show's entire history, because the BBC thinks he's too old to play a five billion year old Time Lord, then they can go suck a Dalek's etheric beam locators. That being said, it is now time to discuss who whose replacement will be. Here in no particular order are 10 actors that I, in my not so humble and indefinite, in infinitely correct opinion, should be considered for the role of Doctor Who. Colin Baker. Let me just get this out of the way. There has been a lot of talk about bringing back a past doctor to reprise the role again, to try to try a different take on his original version of the role. Mo most often they're talking about Matt Smith or David Tennant or sometimes even Chris Eccleston. Well, if they're going to do that, let's bring back an actor who really did royally get fucked over by the show. Yes, Colin Baker is not as young as he used to be. Or as fit or his hair suit, but he is a fine actor who deserves a chance to redeem himself. Barring that, maybe just give him a cameo on the show where he gets to take a piss on Michael Grade's front lawn. <laughs> Rupert Grint. Best known for his portrayal of Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter series, Rupert displayed an affinity for comic timing and wit, as well as dynamic emotional range. Plus, the doctors always wanted to be a ginger. Am I ginger? No, I wanted to be ginger. I've never been ginger. Uh, I'm still not ginger. I wonder what his Patronus would be. Data analysis shows too many variables. Idris Elba. Let's face it, this guy is already a huge name in sci-fi fandom, with credits that include Pacific Rim, Prometheus, and the Star Trek Beyond. Another excellent actor with amazing range. The only downside would be all the hiatuses from, for his film career, and he may, not, he may not actually be too keen to return as a TV series regular. Of course, we could always remind him that he was in the Ghost Rider sequel with Nicolas Cage, so he still has to make it up to us for that. Helena Bonham Carter. Now this would be an amazing piece of casting. It would be brilliant. This lady has more charm, humor, and weirdness going for her than the entire cast of Monty Python in their prime. Plus, we could keep Michelle Gomez as Missy and just do an entire episode of them verbally and literally sparring against one another. That's a girl-to-girl -girl moment I'd love to see. 
Hugh Laurie. Seriously, watch a couple of episodes of House, then a couple of episodes of Fry and Laurie, and top it off with an episode or two of Black Adder. It should be a fucking felony that this guy hasn't already been offered the role. Oh, <laughs> he's too bloody old. Yeah, fuck you. Natalie Dormer. Another genre favorite, her standout roles include Hunger Games and Game of Thrones. Or Hunger Game of Thrones. <laughs> she completes that triad with becoming the Doctor. And her career will never fail. And if she isn't the next Doctor, maybe she could be the next Romana. Benedict Cumberbatch. You know, as much as I pick on him for his long-ass name and the fact that he was totally miscast as Khan Noonien Singh, Bartleby Crabblepudding uh, <clears throat> would be amazing as the Doctor. Plus, he could get three or four seasons of Doctor Who in before the next season of Sherlock has to start filming. Easily! Robert Carlyle. Okay, seriously, don't grouse about Ajo on this one, or Rumpelstiltskin may just find his inner Begbie, and if you know what I mean, you know? His range really shines through in Once Upon a Time, and his portrayal of the Doctor would be absolutely magnificent. Besides, I gotta say nice things about him. I don't want a fucking pool cue up me arse, mate. Lenny James. Don't let his amazingly good American accent on The Walking Dead and Jericho fool you. Lenny is an accomplished British actor with an impressive list of credits. If they really wanted to go in a more serious direction with the show, similar to Chris Eccleston's tenure, they couldn't do much better than Mr. James. Plus... If the TARDIS was ever beset by walkers, I'm pretty sure he'll have an inkling what to do. <laughs> e. Adam Thomas. Yes, that's right. Me. I may be an American by birth, but at heart, I am old Time Lord. I have been craving this part since I was 14 years old, the first time I ever saw the episode Stones of Blood. I've done charity work as the Doctor. I got married as the Doctor. I am an officer with AZ TARDIS, which raises money and awareness for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I have five police boxes, more than ten sonic screwdrivers, jelly babies, neurosis, wigs, scarves, a big-ass spoon for dueling in Sherwood Forest. My main Tom Baker costume is about 32 years old. This part should be mine. I tell you, I am the Doctor, the oncoming storm, the destroyer of the Daleks. I am Lord President of the High Council of the Time Lords on the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casturbris off the Jersey Turnpike. I am the Lizard King! I can do anything! Let's get some tacos. If anything I have said today offended you or upset you in some way, good. If you agree with everything I said, especially that last part, awesome! Either way, let me know by commenting on this video, looking up Adam's Film Rants and uh, That Damn Rant Show on Facebook, emailing me at boretom at gmail.com, looking up uh, at Angry Men Reviews on Twitter, whatever. Let me know what shows or movies you'd like to see me lose my ever-loving think bag over. In the meantime, from Angry Men Reviews, I am E. Adam Thomas. And that was literally my last product endorsement ever. Oh, God. Somebody get me a Tums. Ugh. Angry Men Reviews. Many fucks said, no fucks given.
A happy moment. <laughs> yeah, you got the dark side of that one. Uh, I heard what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just broke said. my steps on. Okay. <laughs>